channel, guys. Thank you so much for joining. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be alerted whenever I drop new content, guys. Um, so this video is a different one for you guys. You probably um, are so used to me dropping those recipe videos. Today, I thought I'll do something to a little bit more personal. Uh, let you guys in on how I get ready every day. Um, so we are going to start with, typically I start with brushing my teeth and praying. I've already done that. So guys, uh, I decided uh, midway through, like, I should be recording this, so I'm recording it. Um, and guys, if you haven't done so already, please go follow me on my YouTube channel at Shanika underscore fat me. Um, you can join me on TikTok at underscore fat underscore me and on Facebook as Shanika fat me Franklin. Okay, guys. And so, um, I'm going to start typically, like I said, I start with praying. As soon as I hit the floor, I pray, share my verse of the day on my platforms. And then I start getting ready. Um, I usually brush my teeth first, which I've already done. Jeez. Also, um, I start with, the next thing I do is exfoliate my face. Now, guys, I don't use, like, a brush or anything like that. I spray the product. I, I place the product in my hand, kind of get it a lather, a lather, and go ahead and clean my perimeter of my face. And, guys, I'm going to uh, place this in the camera a little bit closer so you can see what it is. Now, this is a great product. I am a two-tone person. Always have been, guys. And I've been using these products, Ambi products, since I was about 14, 15 years old. I'm now 38 years old. Well, we'll be 38 March 19th. So this is what we're using, okay? And then, and I found that this is really great for women of color. Okay, guys, so I start by taking the latch off because I am a mother of six. You want to make sure that you keep the latch on so the kids are not spraying out your products. Okay, and then I just put a few pumps in the palm of my hand. We're going to make sure to lock the latch back. Okay, it's locked. All right, guys, now we take a little bit of water. Go ahead and get it lathered up. Like so. Get you a good lather. And then we start adding the product to our face. Now, if you wanted to, you could very well, you know, you can do the uh, exfoliation, uh, exfoliation brush. Me, personally, I found that, you know, this is what works best for me. Now, we're all different people, right? So it doesn't. What works for me may not work as good for you, so you just do what's best for you, okay? And uh, guys, these, this uh, Ambi product can be found at Walgreens, okay? Um, also, I've seen it at different beauty supplies. I don't know if every city has a beauty supply, but uh, in Chicago, we have beauty supply houses, so that's where you can typically find that, beauty supplies and Walgreens, okay? So we're going to let this product go ahead and sit for a while. So in the meantime, while we do that, we can go ahead and massage it in, okay? You want to make sure that you're kind of like getting all that grit up. Now, guys, like I tell you this, I do not use makeup at all, okay? Now, that's not to knock whoever wears makeup. That's totally your choice. There's nothing wrong with makeup. It just doesn't work out for me. Um, but guys, as I said before, um, every man for themselves, right? Whatever works best for you is what's best for you. So we're not judging each other on what we're using to keep our faces nice and clean and moisturized, guys. Um, I do appreciate all the love we've been getting. But guys, while I talk to you, I'm going to go ahead and get the product off. And it's just using a damp rag. Sometimes I just bend over at the sink and kind of like rip, wash it off. But today we're going to kind of expose, I mean, I'm sorry, wipe it off with the towel, with the hand towel. I'm using warm water. I recommend it using it hot, as hot as you can stand it. I'm using it as hot as I can stand it. So. How's you guys' morning going? How's everything? This is a great product, guys. Ladies, gentlemen. Um, now, there. So, 
Now that the product is completely removed from my face, sorry, you see my face is everything is removed. We're gonna move on to the second step of getting ready in the morning, and that is exfoliate. I'm sorry, exfoliating. That is fixing my hair. Now, guys, um, I've had this ponytail in my hair for about a week. My sister typically does my hair, and then I maintain it um, until I cannot uh, maintain it any longer. I'm um, a heavy sleep, as you can see. Look at my scarf. Everything is falling off, looking rough. And, guys, we always drink a lot of water. That helps with clear skin as well. Okay. Now, let's start with this hair. Now, as you can see, it's kind of like still intact, right? It's still there, but we have to fix it up a little bit. So, I'm going to start with a little bit of edge effect, edge control. I'm going to hit the perimeters, hit the sideburns. I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So, we kind of just like take the product. Add it to the places where you need it at. You see how my hair, that product is building up there? We're even going to fix that. I'll show you. In one minute. I kind of like put it all the way around the perimeter. All the different flyaways, or if, if that's what it's called, I'm not sure. So we put the edge control on all the flyaway, flyaways. You kind of keep this ponytail up until you're done. Me personally, that's how I do it, okay? If it will stay. Okay. There. All right. Now, you guys, I don't know how you do it, but we use edge control brushes around here. Okay. Get it from the beauty supply for about $1.99. Okay. We want to. Sorry, I just cleaned it. I always clean it. Last time I uh, used it, it had product in it. I like to get the product out every single time I use it. Okay. So we want to make sure it's dry before you start using it or you're going to mess up those edges and I really don't want to start over, okay? Now, there we go. Now, we're going to start with the edges. Now, I'm a mother of six. I have three girls. So I've kind of perfected the edges, okay? I know what I'm doing. If you don't, just do the best you can. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's, that, that looks all right. And then we go all the way around, fixing up the parts that fell down or looking rough all the way around your ponytail, okay? Now, I'm not saying you have a ponytail, but I mean, this is what I have to do <laughs> to make myself look great, okay? All right, let's hit this edge. See? That's looking better already, right? Now, we have to move on. We have to move on to the Gots to be glue. Got, what is it? Gots to be glue. You get this from your neighborhood beauty supply as well. I've also seen this at Walgreens, okay? So I give it a good shake and I just spray it around. Spray it on the white part, make that white go away, okay? Okay, and I kind of like, just take my fingers, you know, push everything up. Okay. Okay. 
this? Like wrap strip? Is that what they call it? Styling strip. Take a styling strip. Hit it on the front, on those edges. And just tie it up. Okay, while we're waiting for everything to be intact, we're going to go ahead and start on my brows. Now, I don't do all that makeup. And again, I'm not judging whoever does wear makeup. This is what I do. It's called the eyebrow marker. Um, I found these at Walgreens and also the beauty supply store. It's just where I kind of like fill in my eyebrows. But I'm going to show you guys that as well. Give me one second. Yep. I'll be right back. get my mirror okay so again i don't know if i showed it but i'm gonna show it again the eyebrow marker um i think this is like 3.99 i got it in universal brown so i'm gonna use my little mirror my little handy dandy mirror guys i'm gonna apply the kind of like gonna leave it so that you guys kind of see what i'm doing as well so i start with a perimeter kind of like line up the side of my brows Really soft strokes. This is a marker, so you don't have to necessarily push down hard. Now guys, if you wear your eyebrows tinted uh, from like the little neighborhood nail shops or something like that, then this is the best product for you. If you don't, I wouldn't recommend it, but I mean, you can always try it. It doesn't hurt. Now you guys can kind of see the outline that I've already done. And then I kind of go upwards and just start filling in. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've always had like extremely light eyebrows. They're, they've never been thick. So when they started tinting eyebrows, that was like everything for me. I was so happy. Okay, guys, can you see them? They're there. Okay, that's all you need. That's all I need. Okay, so I'm going to do the other one really quick. We literally do the same thing with the next one. Okay, guys, stroke, and we're done. See that? And really simple. I know some people are going to be on the hill. Oh, you drawing your eyebrows, you drawing your eyebrows. Listen, beauty is beauty, okay? Doesn't matter how you obtain it, okay? I'm not knocking anybody, okay? Then we got our trusty MAC. Just a clear lip. We don't need much. As you can see, we don't need much. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this really quick, okay? Now 
Now guess what? Let me decide on the earring. Give me one second. Okay, so we're gonna do, um, we're gonna wear a graphic tee, some Air Max and, um, or Ugg boots and a ripped jean. We're gonna do just some name earrings. These are the ones that I have. This says Fat Meat. I have some that says Mrs. Franklin and also Shanika, my real name. Okay, then of course, we're just doing the Apple Watch today. Nothing fancy. We don't have a lot of places to go. We're just handling business today. So we're going to do really casual, but cute. Okay? Last but not least, you take this little raggedy looking ponytail. Weed brush. Let me show you guys the product that I use for this as well. So we have this little, it's by Magic, it's the Heat Shield. By Magic, you can also find this at the Beauty Supply House. I kind of spray the brush. Just spray it. And then we're gonna brush it. Okay? I don't mind my ponytail being kind of like crinkly a little bit. But if you do mad, you can always use a hot comb or something like that to kind of like uh, straighten it out as perfect as you want it or you can leave it as rough as you like it. Totally up to you. Nobody's judging, okay? We're gonna remove this strip. strip and there you have it we're ready for the day